Hello beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning in, watching and listening. This is going to be the mid-May 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Capricorn. As always my readings are very intuitive so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do however recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump in and get started in column number one. We're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close, so last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're going to take a general look at what's coming for the remainder of May. We're going to do a money column, a love column, and then the fifth and final column. We're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note for you, Cap. But let's go back to column number one, what's wrapping up and coming to a close. Starting with a summary affirmation card for this column, we have the card, I will pray. And if the word pray doesn't resonate with you, that's totally fine. This could be manifesting, hoping, wishing. But there's something that we've been praying for, wishing for, hoping for um, these last few weeks or a month. And let's see kind of how things went for you. So I do think that you have gotten this thing that you've been hoping for. And if you haven't yet, I think you will really soon here, Capricorn. But at first, we have the Ten of Cups. If you watched my readings before, you know I love the Ten of Cups. It's one of my favorite cards in the entire deck. Um, it's a card of contentment, total love, support. It's really, truly everything wonderful. And I know that's a broad statement, but that's what this card boils down to. That's what this card means. Um, so... Again, I think you've gotten what you're hoping for. You have this sense of contentment now. The next card that we have is the Justice card. The Justice card is always favorable for you, Capricorn. Um, so this could be like um, cause and effect because you put in great effort. You're getting the reward of that. Um, it's like a win-win solution, something that makes everybody happy. This could also be truth coming out. Again, all in all favorable for you. This is especially great for contracts, legal matters, matters of the court as well. Again, indicating that favorable outcome for you. At the bottom here, we have the Ten of Coins or the Ten of Pentacles. This is a very long-term card and it's like you've embarked on this next thing and it's here to stay long-term. The Ten of Coins can also be a card of retirement. Congratulations for those of you that retired. Um, this can also be like some sort of lump sum of money or inheritance as well. But let's take a look at our clarifiers. The first card that we have is the Six of Wands. Um, Six of Wands and Ten of Cups is super, super nice pairing. The Six of Wands is, again, victory, war, recognition, good news, success. So I really do think that we have reached this thing that we've been hoping and praying for. The next card that we have is the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is a card, um, this can be a card of new love, so potentially uh, this is a new love interest. But again, this is a very studious card, it's a very hard working card. Um, and we talked about the Justice card, it's like because you put the effort in, you reap the benefits. So very similar energy in that sense. And then at the bottom here, we have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a celebratory card. We could be celebrating this newfound money, celebrating this accomplishment, this thing that we've been hoping for. Um, so, uh, again, indicating favorably that we have met this thing that we've been hoping and praying for, which is so neat to see. Okay, now let's move on to our next column. I don't know if you guys can hear the cats roughhousing or not. Sorry if you can. Um, moving on to our next column, Capricorn, we're going to take a look at what's coming for the remainder of May. So any main, major uh, call-outs here. We have the summary affirmation card of I am royalty. Of this deck, this is my favorite affirmation card. You should treat yourself like the trophy that you are. You really are truly royalty, Capricorn. So love that. Such a good reminder of our worthiness and our value and all that we deserve. Let's take a look at what we're working with here. 
starting off with the Three of Cups, we were just talking about the Three of Cups, and it seems like that celebration will continue. Um, this could be another thing to celebrate. This could be a continued celebration of what we were just talking about. The Three of Cups is also a great card of friendship and circle of support. So you have a nice uh, circle of support. You may have like had one celebration with one group of people and now this is like a secondary celebration. Again, I see celebrating and I see friends and family here, which I love. The next card that we have is the Wheel of Fortune. If you've watched my readings before, you know the Wheel of Fortune is one of my favorite cards in the entire deck. So you've had both now, the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a card of good luck, good fortune. It is a great card for gambling. Not that I'm telling you to go gamble, but if you do, this could be a good gambling card. This is also a turning point. Um, things are shifting in the most positive way. It's like you've been praying for this thing and we've got it. Again, that's continuing here. So things are like shifting, 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 but these are all super positive shifts, it feels like here, Capricorn. So I love that. At the bottom here, we have the King of Coins or the King of Pentacles. This is a card of being solid, practical, and wise. Um, I think you're going to continue to get these like positive shift, positive shift, positive shift, but we need to almost have a plan on how to maintain that or keep that up. So it's like, okay, we got this. Now how do we move to the next, into the next, into the next? So make sure we have a solid, practical, wise plan here. The King of Pentacles is also a great investment card. So for those of you that did get this sum of money, perhaps, or maybe there's some money coming through gambling, good luck, good fortune coming in. Um, this is a wise investment card, so investment opportunities in these next few weeks look really good for you too. So potential for a great investment coming as well. But taking a look now at our clarifiers, first up we have the Knight of Cups, so really feeding into the relationship card still too. Again, I'm seeing you with friend, family, celebrating. The Knight of Cups though is more of a love card though. Um, this is like Prince or Princess Charming, Knight in Shining Armor, uh, very romantic, very proposal-like, so there could be an advancement of a relationship here, perhaps that's what we're celebrating. This could be a new relationship. Um, for those of you, though, that that love meaning isn't resonating, this can also be proposal in the sense of an opportunity um, and a really quality, high quality opportunity just given it coming through with that Knight of Cups. The next card that we have is the Nine of Pentacles, really stellar combination between the Wheel of Fortune and Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a luxury card, self-sufficiency, financial gains. Um, so it really seems like we have some nice positive shifts coming in, money included there for you, Capricorn. At the bottom here, we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a card of being very confident, being very self-assured. Um, we need to have a nice, solid plan going forward, so just keep that in mind. So, solid, practical-wise, have a plan that we're confident in. You've made a step forward, now what's the next step, the next step, the next step, and so on. Okay, I feel like we've had quite a bit of money messages so far, but let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. Starting out with this quick money gem here. The spirit of money is within you. You are money and you are never without. So in this column, we're gonna talk specifically about money, um, job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, whatever you associate with money here. First up, we have the Four of Coins, or the or excuse me, the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups has a couple different meanings, so I'm going to give you both sides of this. One meaning is like a lack of fulfillment or kind of a feeling of apathy. So some of you may not be super content in the work that you're doing right now. Um, so just be aware, and we need to kind of look for something better here in this case. Uh, the Four of Cups can also be a card of surprise gifts. You could be expecting a bonus or some sort of pay raise or some sort of unexpected money. So that surprise gift, which hopefully for most of you that is the case. The next card that we have is the Page of Coins or the Page of Pentacles. This is a card of being very patient. This is new job, raise, some sort of money news. We keep echoing this new money message and I'm not mad about it. It's a good thing, Capricorn. At the bottom here, we have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a card uh, with lots of different meanings as well, but one of them is kind of like running away or moving away. I do think that you could be moving on to an opportunity with new money. You could be moving on to something more fulfilling. 
perhaps you're getting money outside of career, so that's giving you the opportunity to move on as well. Like if there's some sort of retirement or inheritance, this could be the moving on to as retirement. Um, but I like the money movement here. We have a lot of positive money movement coming through. Taking a look now at our clear first, I want to point out really quick, these are all wand cards. Wands are fire signs and it's very creative energy. So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. On top of our four of cups, we have the three of wands. This conveniently is a card of commerce as well. It's a card of expansion. It's a card of growth. Um, so we have money growing, money coming in, commerce, money. We like the three of wands. This could also be a travel card, so you could potentially do some work-related travel as well. The next card that we have is the two of wands. The two of wands is typically a card of waiting. So we've been waiting for this money. We've been waiting for this shift, and it looks like it's finally here. This is also a travel card, so definitely could be some work travel. At the bottom here, we have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of being stressed, exhausted, having too many burdens. Um, again, there are some of you that do have this kind of lack of apathy or lack of fulfillment, and that's what's driving that move um, away. That's what's driving you to search for that new job, to run away, to retire. Again, not a bad thing. We want to get away from things that aren't serving us. But again, this is kind of like the motive. There's too many burdens. We're too stressed. We're too exhausted. You can name it what that may be for you. Okay, moving on to our next column. We're going to talk about anything related to love. Pulling a quick love message to start us off. We have the card forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You, can't, you can create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So in this call, we're going to talk about anything related to love. Family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you associate with love here, Capricorn. Uh, first, we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is, again, this new love card. So we talked about some love interest. Um, definitely potential for new relationships here if you're single and if that's what you're interested in. The next card that we have is the Page of Wands. This is also new. This is like new undertaking, new project, new connection. So seems like there's some new flings or flames happening here. And at the bottom we have the Empress. The Empress is a card of creation. It's a card of abundance. Um, it's interesting you have that forgiveness card saying you can create your reality. Same thing with the Empress card. You can really create whatever love reality you want here. So if you're wanting new love, advancement of your current love, new energy, new fling, new spice, whatever it may be, that's the Empress. The Empress is also a great parenting card. So if you're hoping to grow your family, that could be a great card for you as well. Now moving on to our clarifiers. First up we have the Nine of Wands. As we go into this new relationship, and this could be love interest, friend, pet, whatever, make sure that we have good boundaries here. If you look at the Nine of Wands, there is not a wall around this person, but a fence, and this fence filters out the bad things and only lets in the good. So as we go into this new relationship, be thinking about having nice boundaries there. The next card that we have is the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is a card of decision. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of love decision. Do we pursue this new opportunity? Do we go after this new hobby? Do we go after this new relationship? Maybe you're single and like two people show up at the same time and it's kind of the decision of which person you're interested in. But I do see a love decision here for you. Uh, definitely go after whatever one like gives you the spark, if that makes sense, Capricorn. And then at the bottom here, we have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is, again, that very practical card. Um, so take a nice practical approach. Some of you could be moving in together, too, because this is like kind of increase of money. So this would be like going from one income to two incomes. But again, that ability to create any love life you would like here, Capricorn. Okay, now moving on to our fifth and final column, we are going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card, I will fight. 
I always give a little spiel when I see this card. I wish that we didn't have to fight for things in life and things were just easy. But unfortunately, that's not the reality we have. So we do occasionally find ourselves having to fight for something that we really want or fight for something that we're passionate about. The nice thing is, is like we care about this thing enough to fight for it. So there's something here to make a little bit of extra effort to get done or get accomplished this month. Taking a look at our cards here, though, let's see what messages we've got. Uh, first, we have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is very much so a new love card. It's interesting. We have a lot of new money cards and a lot of love cards here. So if that's what you were hoping for, you got a nice mix of both Capricorn. Um, but at first, we have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is a romantic love. It's a card of partnership, proposal, marriage. So again, new relationship or advancement of relationship. We're going to follow that up nicely with the Lover's card, which is, of course, a love card partnership, deep love, strength together. So, so you absolutely could be getting married, engaged, new relationships. I love the energy there. And then at the bottom here, we have the page of swords. The page of swords is a card. Um, there is kind of some gossip or drama swirling around. There could be some stuff to overcome in this relationship. Again, that might be what we're fighting with. Or fighting for. I don't think it's anything terrible, but again, it's like there's something to be that we have to overcome here. Let's take a look at our clarifiers though. First up, we have the Two of Cups. So we have the Two of Cups on the Two of Cups. If you've watched my readings before, you know I love when this happens. It's like the universe saying, I said what I meant. It's a very clean, crisp, clear message. So no doubt this is connected to love. Again, romantic love, partnership, proposal, marriage. Can you say love is in the air? Um, the next card that we have is the Ace of Pentacles. Anytime you have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. Um, so with the Ace of Pentacles, this is typically job, promotion, raise, some sort of income. Um, we talked about this a little bit too at the bottom. It's like you could be moving in together again, going from that one salary to two salaries or one income to two incomes. There does seem to be some money movement mixed in with all this love as well. And at the bottom here, we have the hangman. The hangman can be a little stagnant. You see this person hanging there by their foot. There's like, again, something we need to overcome. The hangman, though, is gaining wisdom. It's gaining information. It's gaining perspective. And those are the things that will kind of help you get over that hump. Both of these are like a truth coming out card. So I think you'll get the information you need to overcome. But it does look like there is something to overcome that we kind of have to fight through. Um... But lots of money cards, lots of love cards here, Capricorn. At this time, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use our Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But question number one is the Ace of Diamonds. This is the number nine card. Um, that's going to be a no. Question number two is the Nine of Spades. This is number 41 card. That's going to be a yes. And question number three is the five of spades. This is number six card. That's going to be a no. So no, yes, no there, Capricorn. We're also going to pull a card from our Healing Stones deck. Well, if you watched your video earlier this month, we already pulled it. It's a crystal to keep with you through the month of May. Your crystal this month is Rose Quartz, which is great for softness, love, gentle but firm. And last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our Healing Notes deck. Capricorn, your healing note says, you are filled with healing love. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Capricorn, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your May.